Good morning, good morning, good morning. I printed a bunch of stuff. But more importantly, I've been painting. <laughs> and I'm doing this in... Gon bon uh, ton Gonzai Tombow paints. What are they called? Gonzai. They're from Japan. They're watercolors, but they're super, super heavily pigmented. And I've had this set some of them are getting close to bottom like yellow of course i use up yellow really fast on everything this turquoise is going fast but they're super pigmented and these are all watercolors except for the last couple pages but i've just been that was a brush cleanup page i've just been uh, this black. Okay, I think I started right here. I've just been doodling with the paintbrush. And obvious. Trying to come up with some backgrounds that I can maybe change the colors on and procreate. Um, this is not the best one. Then these are all done in tempera paint sticks, these. But I've been having a good time. Just, you know, when it dries, I come back. A couple hours later, I come back. This is on a lined journal, but I'm still having fun with it. Look at those ghosts. I love those. Those remind me of my oyster shells like two years ago or last year. Two years ago, maybe. This looks, I don't know what this looks like, but I love that too. I'm basically, I've been inspired by um, E-Bond, this lady that I have discovered on accident, luckily. Allie Edwards says a lot of stuff like that. Just doing a lot of the same stuff in different color combinations. Oh, that's a flower upside down. I live my life upside down. But I'm doing this from the back of the book because the front of the book on all three of these has something in it, I think. I kind of like that one. That one needs another color. I like that one too. I think this is where I got inspired by Yvonne. She's got these orbs with stuff on the background, but I think she's like cutting and pasting, collaging different things together. These were tempera paint sticks. You can see how much more vibrant they are. So that, that's been fun. But, where can I put this? This is the prettier one, I think. This is better paper. It's kind of like a, I don't know what this is. It's 100 GSM, 65 pound paper. But this book lays flat, so it's good for scanning. And I've been playing in this one a lot from the back again. And you can see I repeated a lot of the same stuff. I love this, actually. Sometimes I went ahead and I like that for Halloween, actually. Sometimes I closed the book and got it wet. Sometimes I started out with a blob, like that purple was a blob of stuff. So was that. This was blue and then I went like that and it came over. Then I added orange to it. That might be good for Halloween, too. I may have ordered Allie Edwards Halloween kit. I know. It came out this morning. Wobbleton on a cloudy day. I think I was doing this during tennis. <laughs> this one is trying to get to E-Bond, and I love that. I love just this little splash. I love this. I love this. I wonder what it would look like in black and white. This is still watercolor. Still watercolor. Still watercolor. Tempera paint sticks which obviously dry a whole lot faster. But anyhow, I've just been playing. Just experimenting, playing, having a grand old time. And I printed some stuff. Where'd I put my journal? I just had it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I just had it. Oh, 
The good news is the dog is great. I just had... I'll be right back. I'm back. All right. I just love how these turned out. I just got in a groove yesterday. I still haven't done this. I forgot, actually. But I have a couple things I can put in places. Oh. And some pictures, some stuff down the road. Okay. The dog is great. He was highly, highly drugged. I'm hoping this one can go under here. Yes, and I tried to put it in colors that were close to that paper. Uh, this is all done on Procreate just because it's easier for me and I don't like my writing, which I know you're supposed to still include it, but I avoid it like the plague. Just like I avoid getting my picture taken. Having three pictures in here of me and, our, and or us is the most I've had in a travel journal of any kind. I just don't like myself in pictures. Maybe after I lose 20 more pounds, I'll like myself. I don't know. I, even then, I didn't like myself. Although I was agreeable to take more. Okay. Perfect. It looks like it was fit for that paper, right? Right. Then it says, I'm coming back here. I want to go inside and see the Splendor in person. Amazing. Then this one. St. Paul's Cathedral was beautiful. Tucked in amongst modern buildings with all its splendor made it even more majestic. I, apparently splendor was the word. Now this one, ooh. Maybe down here if I cut off his legs. Gunner did great. Um, she said the only thing is maybe give him the groomer. What did she say? Um, not quite two hours beforehand to give him the medicine because it started wearing off at the end. But he got his paws cut. He got his ears trimmed. He got his face trimmed. All of it. Oh, this is coming off already. These are old. Um, in fact, I've included a picture of him here. He's going out to lunch with my husband. <laughs> okay. Now. This is all the, I, is this all the, um, good shopping places and the great, yes. So I, oh, I have one for Buckingham Palace. To see the balcony was a tiny bit underwhelming. It looks bigger on TV. That's what I put, which is true. You don't realize how far away it is from the average human being. Unless you're inside the gates and can get in better. But on TV, it looks a whole lot better. Bigger. I might put this across here. No. That's asking for trouble. I think I have a light bulb going out. I'll put it over there. <clears throat> okay. Trying to... get some of this journaling I did matched up to the pictures. Okay. Then I put on the one that is going to have just random buildings and or shopping like Harrods and and or like famous hotels like the Ritz and stuff like that. 
and the Raven. Some of the prettiest and most iconic buildings in the world. We get to shop and dine in them. Which, I didn't do much shopping. Then this is for the postcards at the end that I made. Postcards from the past. Is what I'm putting, calling it. And architecture and icons go with this one too. And I just write on there with a stylus, but using different paint brushes and just come up with some titles and add some color to the background. Oh, this is us is going to go with the page about where we're all from and all that kind of stuff, which I think is kind of cool. This is us. All right. And that's not till the end. I feel stupid not ever knowing Big Ben was attached to the Palace of Westminster, which I had no clue. I don't know what I've been looking at all these years. We're going to use that one today and then... I'm so struck by how many old buildings are next to new ones as a result of World War II. This is how much damage was done during the Blitz. It just never ceased to amaze me. I know when we've gone to other places uh, like Germany and, and Amsterdam and stuff like that, but they didn't have as much destruction, especially like London. Okay. All right, you guys... Go back to your homes. Oops. And at the end, I have three stickers now, including this one, which isn't a sticker, but they all say cheerio. That's going to be my last play, last page. Cheerio. Cheerio, old, old mate. Young mate, whatever. Okay. So let's see. And I have a lot of stickers that have Big Ben and stuff like that on them. In the wings here. All right, we did Buckingham Palace. Now we're doing Parliament, which is the Palace of Westminster. And we did St. Paul's. Okay. I think I'm going to put this on here. Okay, we have Liberty. Liberty should really go over there. Oh, no, these are all... I'm going to do this with these. Okay. So if I get and this. If I get all these done... Parliament here. And then this one is London Bridge, the Tower Bridge, or wherever all these jewels are held. Yeah, I'm going to cut. I'm going to try to do these two today. And this can go here. And these go here. So these two. Okay, so these two I'm going to try to do tomorrow, which is a ton of tip ins. See, this is the lady. I'm trying to emulate, I know, squirrel, squirrel. I'm trying to emulate some of this stuff. But I'm trying to just get my circles down and then I'll cut them out and put them on top of other pages. I just love, can you see that? Yeah, I just love her aesthetic. I'm trying to buy the paper, the paper fabric off of her website because then money goes directly to her. And... They only take PayPal, but then on their PayPal thing, they say, we will, we can take regular credit debit cards or whatever. But then when you go to use it, you sign your email address and the email address says, oh, you have a PayPal account. I'm like, yeah, but I haven't used it in 15 years and I don't know what the password is. And can I just bypass that? It won't let me. And her prices were way cheaper. I think she's just trying to clear out her inventory. Of her own stuff. Okay. Oh, I'll just put this off. Now, I want to... It's, it's just gorgeous. I love it. It's very abstract, but it's so abstract that she combines circles with it. It's just like, be still my heart. Okay. 
The Palace of Westminster, meeting place of Parliament, originally built in the 10th century as a royal palace during World War II, the structure was hit 14 different times. So I can add that and that. And I may not put all of these pictures on here because I got a bunch of stickers and I think it would be fun to put, play with stickers. I might put that. Maybe these two back to back. And these two I'll keep out. And then I've got like every sheet has Big Ben on it. The stickers. There. There. Um... One doesn't, but that one has a great one. That sticker company. Then I have it on here. A pretty decent one. And then those little stickers. That out of the that out of the they are. what kind of Big Ben stickers I have. I might put that on the building one. Oh, I like this one. London's quite big with Big Ben. And this is a good one too. Envelope. Bring on the stories. Details. I like that. And that kind of matches this color. This is actually a birthday one. Oh, at the end though, I'm gonna put who knows what comes next and Cheerio. Okay. All right, I think that's all I wanna put on here. Now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna fit it on there. I do have this bag still. Maybe I'll take a Oh, Amy Tangerine has a new sticker book. I can't, I just can't get it. It's, I don't, you have to pre-order, which is fine. But I have another sticker book of hers, a smaller one. This one's $30. Since when has that stopped me? I know. I don't know. might just do it like this and then like that oh. hold on a second they're the wrong corners there we can do something like that And I'm going to throw the rest of the bag away. I know. I know. Who am I? All right. First of all, we got to put a hinge in this dude. With double-sided tape. 
tried to move my camera a little bit. It's the bane of my existence. I'm getting pretty good at hinges, though. Watch out Halloween. else is going on around here it's a very slow morning did not sleep well i know i think i'm just there's so much going on i'm excited for halloween i'm getting bombarded on every platform with december daily i think it's just going to be like this till the election there's just a lot of stuff going on people being mean to people all right let's see if we can get these in the right direction Hi. It's got kind of like a waxy feel to it. It's it. My, and my sister said that um, she has had panic attacks before. Um, but her doctor has kind of told her how to deal with them. And it's always, it's worked. She started working from home like a year ago on a permanent basis. And she's had them several times at home. I'm like, and she'll call me. She's like, I just had a panic attack. I'm like, are you all right? Yeah. And then of course she has a headache and a kind of like a stomach ache. For the rest of the day kind of deal and she was telling her boss one of her supervisors they have a, a hierarchy of supervisors where she works i don't know if they do anything really but she said me too she and she said she talked to her doctor about it and the doctor said ever since we've had a lot of people working from home there's been a humongous rise in panic attacks like, you would think you would feel very comfortable at home and it would be the opposite, which is wild to me. But she's she's had ADD since she was a kid and we just didn't know what it was back then. I Not ADD, dyslexia, dyslexia, a mild version of it. But um, she has said that... She just can't concentrate on stuff. I'm like, I'm not either. Okay, now this looks stupid in this orange, but at least it's a complimentary color. I might put this like that. Oh, it looks good with that picture on the sunset. Am I in? Sort of. And then... But... I, I, but I think there's just so much on my mind. Gunner was huge on my mind yesterday. So we weren't sure. And this was going to be like the final straw. Okay. Is that all of Westminster? I think. But I have a ton of stickers I want to put on here. So I could put that one down here. Huh. I think I'm going to do it like that and then splash in pictures. I don't know. Whew. Getting hot. Ooh, I slept on my arm wrong last night too. Oh! It's not one thing, it's another. Okay, this is the one where I did not chop off Big Ben. Maybe I'll put it out like that. Uh, 
Okay, I could put this tall one under here. Okay, we're going with that. We're going with that. <clears throat> but, yeah, it's, it's just been really slow around here. But we're kind of purposely doing it that way. My husband is a better. He's going out like at lunchtime. Like today he went out with his friend, two guys, and he took the dog because it's not hot and they're eating outside. And he's buying some new hydrangeas. Like, is this the right time to plant them? He said, yeah, in the fall. But, um, oh, today's 9-11 too. Ooh. There's just too much going on in the world right now. That's not good. And it's starting to stress me out. But um, he is buying some more hydrangeas also because the ones that the deer... I can't tell if it's in the front flower bed or the ones on the side where the deer ate them. He said the deer ate them all. So I think it's the one on the side. Now the ones at the top of the hill, they're there. Their roots and all are there. And their basic bushel that sticks out of the ground that all this stuff comes off of is there. And we won't know till next year if they survived when the tree fell on them. I could make a pretty title. Okay, and then I'm going to put this guy kind of like right there. Uh, I like that. Okay. And that's the only one of those on here. Yeah. Not even use an arrow. Kind of like, check it out. Check it out. Mm. Okay. Now this one has two. Okay, here, I want this big bin. London's quite big. But where am I going to put this one? Do a cluster on this side. <sighs> Maybe across the middle. Kind of like these two because they're the same color family, sort of. I do not like these stickers. They're holographic, holographic, however you say that, but they also, you have to scrape them to get them off the thing and then you bend it. You have to unstick itself from itself. Here's a crown. I think I'm gonna put this back here at Buckingham Palace. Okay. And I think that's all I can use these, but here's Tower Bridge and the shard and that bullet shaped thing. Okay, now this one. Ooh, here's Shakespeare in the round. Let's go back to Shakespeare. Oh, that's in another volume. getting tired of this project <laughs> but it's kind of a challenge to have all this how am I gonna this Tetris stuff at the end here because it's keeping me now I need to put something there and I might just have to wait and find some an image or something on that wait a second wait a second wait a second wait a second, wait a second. There's Big Ben right there. We're going to put that right there. And 
this is on clear washi tape, so it kind of blends in. Or goes, fades away to the background, sort of. I'm, I'm good with that. I'm going to put something here. Maybe some more words. I don't know. Something more prolific than... I don't know how stupid I am. Okay. Oh, here. This is buildings. Let me get out some of this paper. This is the more cartoonish one, I think. Ooh. Ooh. right on that page too. Oh, I like the blue. going to be, I might be able to do this. Okay. split this over the two pages because that helps a little bit with the lumpy left. That's okay because I think once the lump the left starts forming it will disappear when the left starts forming and then I will focus on putting my pictures more to the top so this could show and then I don't need as many stickers although I think I have some for these pictures oh, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you it's like Tetris But I'm focusing them to the edge of the paper, the outside edge. Then I gotta cut off a tiny bit at the top. I have to be a little careful because this glue is adding moisture and it's trying to buckle. Gotta keep you in shape here. Okay, now let's let the Tetris begin. All right, this is the Tower of London and the Tower Bridge.
This one was outside of our bus, and you can see a pole going by. But look, I mean, there's the shard, or however you say that, in the Tower of London. I can even trim this down a tad. Too bad it's not straight. And I can put that in there. Kind of like... I want to cover that up and I can cut off a little bit here. I'm kind of overlap those two. Then that way all this shot shows. And I might put this down here. Oh, I like that. Okay. I'm going to go with it. And then tomorrow is the iconic buildings, which I'm going to do. There's going to have to be a lot of tip-ins, and I'm going to put those all together with their hinges and all so that you don't have to sit in here, hit, sit here and watch me painstakingly do that. This page, I feel like the paper did all the work, although I do have some more stickers. Mm hmm Oh, you know what I could do? Ooh. I'm going to make some kind of cluster on top of vellum and have a tip in over this paper. Because I don't, really don't want to cover it up. Hmm. Where did I put my vellum after I found it? Did I put it back in the paper area like it's supposed to be? The purchase paper area? That is the question. I'm only going to have it on one side. Okay. It's very overcast here today. Oh, the fires in California are so bad. Oh. There's another hurricane coming. <laughs> no wonder I can't concentrate on anything. There's too much stuff going on. I need to plug up my ears and go, no, 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 no. I can't hear you. I can't hear you.